tomorrow. First things first, I am so, so, so sorry that I didn't make a video last week, but I was feeling just so sick and tired, and honestly, I still am. But anyways, Halloween is so, so freaking close, and I literally cannot wait for it. Even though in our country we don't properly celebrate Halloween, we just carve a pumpkin and put it on our porch, and we don't even go trick-or-treating on Halloween, but we have a special holiday for it, and I know that some of you still go trick-or-treating, or you want to go trick-or-treating, but you can't, or you really want to go trick-or-treating, but you're too old anyways, everyone loves trick-or-treating. So I decided to tell you some types of people on Halloween, trick or treat edition. Don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna describe people that put on their costumes for Halloween, I'm gonna describe people that you can meet when you go trick or treating. So, I'm, anyway, anyways, I'm gonna describe people that gives you candy when you knock on their doors. I am not home candy giver, it is usually just a random person or a random group of people that are cheap as hell and selfish as hell and just don't want to share candies with you. When you come to their house, you can actually see the lights on, so of course you go to the doors and you knock on the doors or just ring a, do door blah, 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 a doorbell. And as soon as you knock, they just turn off the lights and pretend they're not home. Like, what kind of person are you? Oh, it's just... Why can't you just give me one simple candy? Why? The doll lady is usually the sweetest old lady in town that gives you money. She knows that you're 16 years old and 16 years old don't look for candy. They look for money. So she gives you 20 bucks. So beautiful. Wait a minute, I'm gonna find some, or double tap candy giver is the most annoying candy giver in the whole world. You may ask, why double tap, Laura? Because you want to double tap their face with your fist, because they're so, so freaking annoying. But no, no, they're not just annoying, they are rude. And let me tell you why. You go to their house, you knock on the door, everything is just beautiful, you have a lot of money, you have a lot of candies. They open the door and say, oh my god, you're so beautiful. You probably want some candy or money. You know what, let me just get find some. And then you're just like, oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh. And then she never comes back, she doesn't give you any money or candy. Like I said, rude. Stranger Danger Candy Giver is... And at the beginning is really really nice. I mean, it's usually a woman because who's who's afraid of women? Everyone. And when you say trick or treat, she she's really super excited. She goes inside, she looks for candies or money, and apparently she doesn't have any. So she comes back and she offers you a donut, and you know you're just like no 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 thank you. If you don't have any, it's okay. No. You you know what? Come inside, you're gonna get a donut and some milk. No, it's really okay, my mom is waiting for me outside. It's really, it's not a problem. Don't be silly, darling. And who can say no to a donut? Who? No one. And then you go inside, she closes the door, she locks them, and you're just standing there like, Okay, she's locking the door. You know what, maybe she's just afraid somebody's going to rob her. <laughs> oh, am I kidding? She's gonna kill me. While you're eating a donut and some milk, she just keeps asking you about yourself and you're just awkwardly answering because you don't really have a choice. You answer or you die. When you eat a donut, your stomach is happy, your mom is waiting outside and you're just ready to go, but she apparently isn't. She just keeps pushing you and pushing you to stay because Nat is still young, she said. And then you're slowly grabbing your phone, calling 911, you know, just, just for emergency. There's no reason why I would call 911 when a woman doesn't want to let me go. And then the only thought that can come to your mind is, 
Oh my god, she is going to kill me. And after many fake calls from mom and saying your mom is waiting outside and saying you have school tomorrow even though it's Sunday, she finally lets you go. That's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it made you laugh, if you can relate to any type of candy giver, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget so and don't forget to so, and don't forget to just uh, and don't forget to subscribe because I make videos every single Sunday if I'm not sick, tired, or just lazy. And don't forget to comment below what you're going to be for Halloween. I am not going to be I'm not going to be anything because we don't celebrate Halloween. And I'm just gonna carve a pumpkin and put it in front of my porch. I don't really have a porch. So I'm gonna put it on the window. Anyways, I hope you guys will have an awesome Halloween. Enjoy, and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye! I decided to tell you some. So I was supposed to wear this in a video, but I just figured out it looks really, really weird. So I'm just gonna wear it now in the bloopers. You fell out of traction, don't you? It's it's not what it looks like.